Papua New Guinea is one of the last frontiers and has large amounts of its forest and vegetation still intact with unique native flora and fauna. Clearing of forest and vegetation for infrastructure and development coupled with an increase in population has put our flora and fauna at risk of being overexploited. Environment conservation is everyone's choice and those that continue to uphold conservation find it rewarding in preserving PNG's remaining plants and animals deep in the jungles of rural Papua New Guinea. Research Conservation Foundation PNG manages one of the largest wildlife management areas found in Eastern Highlands Province, the Crater Mountain Wildlife Management Area. Crater Mountain Wildlife Management Area is the second largest WMA in this country, second to Tonda Wildlife Management Area, which is in our Western Province. Uh, it has a square a land area of 2,700 square kilometers, and it has a, it's really high um, in terms of forest. It has one of those high forest forest um, areas, intact forest, and it has a lot of um, species. Some species are endemic to the area. Uh, some are endangered as well. RCFPNG Director Dr. Sangian Tiu and her team are based in Goroka, Eastern Highlands Province. Since 1993, RCFPNG have overseen and facilitated in managing the Crater Mountain Wildlife Management Area. And with the help of international organizations and funding from the GEF Small Grants, they continue the good work of conservation. We do a lot of education work. Um, we currently have uh, two main programs. It's the Natural Resource Management Program and the conservation education program. Natural resource management program basically is focused on environmental issues, management of the Crater Mountain Wildlife Management Area. Um, it also assists any communities who are interested in helping them to establish conservation areas or carry out surveys on the biodiversity or do assessment on the environment in terms of, you know, pollution or anything like that. So we get engaged in that through our um, natural resource management program. While development is inevitable and is certainly part of a developing nation, managing land to cater for conservation and other activities is a must. You see, as Papua New Guineans, people are connected to the land. And a lot of these species we have, you know, even the environment itself, people get from there. So it's very important that we recognize that. And whatever is unique to our country and it's only found in this country, we need to protect. The Crater Mountain area remains protected and species of plants and animals thrive in their ecosystem, with some thought to have been extinct, have found refuge in the mountains. One of the bat species called uh, Boomer's bat, uh, it was said to be extinct, but it was found in um, only two places. One of them is Greater Mountain, the other one is somewhere in the western province or elsewhere, yeah. So, you know, such species do exist in the Greater Mountain. So we are not talking about just maybe one or two, but we are talking variety in terms of bird species instead of mammals, um, amphibians, uh, and I'm not sure about reptile. I haven't heard much about reptiles, but the other ones, yes. Conservation allows for the study of flora and fauna and continued research helps us establish fair understanding of the species that are endemic to Papua New Guinea. I think mostly it's the species that they are interested to see. Like beds of paradise is one of the very important species. They want to see the bed of paradise going around in its natural habitat, you know. And there's a lot of them, they take photographs. And then there are those who practically come here to study a particular species. So they, wherever they are in the world, they identify that and they want to know more about that. So they contact us and say, we are interested in this species. We know that it's only found in this place. We said yes. And then we assist them in terms of, you know, giving them support letter to get their visa, research visa, and they do come in. Fidelis Sukina for Inside PNG News.